हेलो एंड वेलकम टू इजी लर्निंग विद डॉक्टर सलमान खान नेक्स्ट लाइफ साइकिल प्लास्मोडियम स्पीशीज पास इज इट्स लाइफ साइकिल इन टू होस्ट डेफिनेटिव होस्ट इज द फीमेल एनाफेलिस मॉस्किटो वेर एज इंटरमीडिएट होस्ट इज मैन द लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ मलेरियल पैरासाइट कंप्राइज ऑफ टू स्टेजेस एंड अ सेक्शुअल फेज ऑकरिंग इन ह्यूम विच एक्ट एज द इंटरमीडिएट होस्ट एंड अ सेक्शुअल फेज ऑकरिंग इन मॉस्किटो विच सर्व एज अ डेफिनेटिव होस्ट फॉर द पैरासाइट The asexual phase in this stage the malaria parasite multiplies by division or splitting a process designated to as schizogony which is derived from the word schizo which means to split and gone meaning generation because this asexual phase occurs in man it is also called the vertebrate intrinsic or endogenous phase in humans schizogony occurs in two locations in the red blood cell called as erythrocytic schizogony and in the liver cells called as exoerythrocytic schizogony or the tissue phase because schizo Schizogony in the liver is an essential step before the parasites can invade erythrocytes. It is called as pre-erythrocytic schizogony. The products of schizogony, whether erythrocytic or exoerythrocytic, are called merozoites. Next, sexual phase. Female Anopheles mosquito represents the definitive host in which sexual forms takes place. Although the sexual forms of the parasite, that is the gametocytes, originate in human RBCs. Maturation and fertilization take place in the mosquito, giving rise to a large number of sporozoites hence this phase of sexual multiplication is called sporogony it is also called the invertebrate extrinsic or exogenous phase thus there is an alternation of hosts as the asexual phase takes place in humans followed by sexual phase in mosquito first development in man called the human cycle human infection comes to the bite of the infective female anopheles mosquito the sporozoites which are infective forms of the parasite are present in the salivary gland of the mosquito they are injected into blood capillaries when the mosquito feeds on blood after piercing the skin usually 10 to 15 sporozoites are injected at a time but occasionally many hundreds may be introduced the sporozoites pass into the blood stream where many are destroyed by the phagocytes but some reach the liver and enter the parenchymal cells the hepatocytes this begins the preerythrocytic stage within an hour of being injected into the body by the mosquito the sporozoites reach the liver and enter the hepatocytes to initiate the stage of preerythrocytic schizogony or mirogony the sporozoites which are elongated spindle shaped bodies become rounded inside the liver cells they enlarge in size and undergo repeated nuclear division to form several daughter nuclei each of which is surrounded by cytoplasm this stage of the parasite is called preerythrocytic or exoerythrocytic schizont or mirant the hepatocyte is distended by the enlarging schizont and the liver cell nucleus is pushed to the periphery mature liver stage schizonts are spherical that is 45 to 60 micrometers multinucleate and contain 2000 to 50000 uninucleate merozoites unlike erythrocytic schizogony there is no pigment in liver schizonts these normally rupture in 6 to 15 days and release thousands of merozoites into the blood stream the merozoites infect the erythrocytes by a process of invagination this then begins the next stage erythrocytic stage merozoites released by preerythrocytic schizonts invade the rbcs the receptor for merozoites is glycophorin which is a major glycoprotein on the red cells the differences in the glycophorins of red cells of different species may account for the species specificity of malaria parasites in the erythrocyte the merozoit loses its internal organelles and appears as a rounded body having a vacuole in the center with the cytoplasm pushed to the periphery and the nucleus at one pole these young parasites are Are therefore called the ring forms or young prophozoites the parasite feeds on the hemoglobin of the erythrocyte it does not metabolize hemoglobin completely and therefore leaves behind a hematin globin pigment called the malaria pigment or hemozoin pigment as residue the malaria pigment released when the parasitized cells rupture is taken up by reticuloendothelial cells such pigment laden cells in the internal organs provide histological evidence of previous malaria infection as a ring form develops it enlarges in size because coming irregular in shape and shows amoeboid motility this is called the band form or amoeboid form or late trophozoid form when the amoeboid form reaches a certain stage of development its nucleus starts dividing by mitosis followed by a division of cytoplasm to become mature schizonts or merons a mature schizont contains 8 to 32 merozoites and hemozoin the mature schizont bursts releasing the merozoites into the circulation the merozoites invade fresh erythrocytes within which they go through the same process of development this cycle of erythrocytic schizogony or mirogony 
is repeated sequentially, leading to progressive increase in the parasitemia, till it is arrested by the development of host immune response. The rupture of the mature schizont releases large quantities of pyrogens. This is responsible for the febrile paroxysms characterizing malaria. The interval between the entry of sporozoids into the host and the earliest manifestation of clinical illness is the incubation period. This is different from pre-patent period, which is the time taken from entry of the sporozoids to the first appearance of malaria parasite in peripheral blood. In Plasmodium falciparum, erythrocytic schizogony always takes place inside the capillaries and vascular beds of internal organs. Therefore, in Plasmodium falciparum infections, schizons and merozoids are usually not seen in the peripheral blood. After a few cycles, some of the merozoids enter into a process called gametogony. After a few erythrocytic cycles, some of the merozoids that infect RBCs do not proceed to become trophozoids or schizons but instead develop into sexual differentiated forms, the gametocytes. They grow in size till they almost fill the RBC but the nucleus remains undivided. Development of gametocytes generally takes place within the internal organs and only the mature forms appear in circulation. The mature gametocytes are round in shape except in Plasmodium falciparum in which they are crescent shaped. Female gametocytes are generally more numerous than the male. Gametocyte appears in circulation 4 to 5 days after the first appearance of a sexual form in case of Plasmodium vivax and 10 to 12 days in Plasmodium Plasmodium falciparum. A person with gametocytes in blood is a carrier or a reservoir. The gametocytes do not cause any clinical illness in the host but are essential for transmission of the infection. A gametocyte concentration of 12 or more per cubic millimeters of blood in the human host is necessary for mosquitoes to become infected. Female anaphylis mosquito during blood meal ingests parasitized RBCs. Now further development occurs in the mosquito which is a process called as sporogony. The mosquito cycle, when a female anaphylis mosquito ingests parasitized erythrocytes along with its blood meal, the asexual forms of malaria parasite are digested but the gametocytes are set free in the midgut, the stomach of the mosquito and undergo further development. The nuclear material and cytoplasm of the male gametocytes divides to produce 8 microgametes with long, actively motile, whip-like filaments. These are called ex-flagellating male gametocytes. The female gametocyte does not divide but undergoes the process of maturation to become the female gamete or macrogamete. It is fertilized by one of the microgametes to produce the zygote. Fertilization occurs in half to two hours after the blood meal. The zygote, which is initially a motionless round body, gradually elongates and within 18 to 24 hours becomes a vermicular motile form with an apical complex anteriorly. This is called the okinate or the traveling vermicule. It penetrates the epithelial lining of the mosquito stomach wall and comes to lie just beneath the basement membrane. It becomes rounded into a sphere with an elastic membrane. This stage is called the oocyst which is yet another multiplicatory phase within which numerous sporozoids are formed. The mature oocyst which may be about 500 micrometers in size bulges into body cavity of mosquito and when it ruptures the sporozoids enter into the hemocele or body cavity. From where some sporozoids move to the salivary glands, the mosquito is now infective and when it feeds on humans, the sporozoids are injected into skin capillaries to initiate human infection. Extrinsic incubation period, it is the time taken for completion of sporogony in the mosquito which is about 1 to 4 weeks depending on the environmental temperature and the species. So this is the life cycle of plasmodium species. Then certain terminologies. Pre-patient period, it is the interval between the entry of the sporozoids into the body and the first appearance of parasites in blood, the duration of the pre-erythrocytic phase in the liver, the size of the mature schizont, and the number of merozoids produced vary with the species of the parasite. Next latent stage, in Plasmodium vivax and Plasmodium ovale, two kinds of sporozoids are seen, some of which multiply inside hepatic cells to form schizonts and others persist and remain dormant in the resting phase. These resting forms are called hypnosis derived from the word hypnos which refers to sleep. The next relapse. From time to time, some hypnozoids are activated to become schizons and release merozoids which go on infecting RBCs producing clinical relapse. Then recrudescence. In Plasmodium falciparum and Plasmodium malariae, initial tissue phase disappears completely and no hypnozoids are found. However, small number of erythrocytic parasites persist in the bloodstream and in due course of time, they multiply to reach significant numbers resulting in clinical disease termed as short-term relapse or recrudescence. 
Next, modes of infection. The infection is transmitted by the inoculative method. During the act of biting, the mosquito's proboscis pierces the skin and the salivary secretion is injected into the punctured wound. This droplet carries a large number of sporozoids which are directly introduced into the bloodstream but cannot be found in it after about half an hour. Source: The infective forms are sporozoids. Portal or route of entry is through the skin by the bite. The vehicle or the transmitting agent is the female Anaphilis mosquito. Site of localization first in liver cells, then in the erythrocytes or RBCs. Methods of transmission This can be of three types sporozoid induced malaria, trophozoid induced malaria, and therapeutic malaria. Injection of an emulsion of salivary glands containing the sporozoids will also induce infection. This is called sporozoid induced malaria. Injection of blood from a malarial patient containing the sexual forms of erythrocytic schizogony will also induce malaria in man. This is called trophozoid-induced malaria and the following are examples. First, transfusion malaria. It occurs during the course of blood transfusion when infected persons having latent malarial infection are used as donors screened by indirect immunofluorescent test. Second, congenital malaria. This is the transmission of infection to fetus in utero through some placental defect. A physiologically healthy placenta offers a bad to the passage of malarial parasites to the fetus. Third, malaria in drug addicts through the use of the same syringe when one of them is infected. Next, therapeutic malaria. Malarial infection has been artificially induced for the treatment of neurosyphilis, that is, general paralysis of the insane. The methods employed are first, by inoculating blood of an infected donor, second, by allowing laboratory bred infected mosquitoes to bite the recipient, and third, by injecting emulsion of salivary glands containing sporozoids. The species of malarial parasites used for this purpose is Plasmodium vivax. If you wish to see more of such videos, do comment below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also, press the bell icon for early notification of my new videos.